in the semi-final tie is uh, Japan, the defending champions. And the next match is the second women's singles, and it's the left-handed Sayaka Takahashi up against the Malaysian Kisona Salvadure. And the Malaysian caused an absolute sensation here in Manila at the end of last year because she won the gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games, beating Rusali Hartawan in the final, having beaten in the quarterfinal Tungjung from Indonesia and Jindapon from Thailand in the semi-final. It is quite clearly the best result of her career. Now, she's been promoted today to second women's singles because Go Jin Wei has not been selected. Sayaka Takahashi, the tall left-hander from Japan, she's had a wonderful tournament so far, won both of her matches and won them both in two straight games. She's always been a steady player as Takahashi and in a team situation like that, uh, that's what uh, the team needs. So nobody shakes hands because of the coronavirus. Everybody just acknowledging each other in a very nice, polite way. But as you can see, this is the first meeting between these two players uh, because uh, Silva Dure has not been playing the elite tier of tournaments. In fact, of Super 300 and above tournaments, which is the HSBC BWF World Tour. She's only ever played two tournaments. Apart from that, she's played international challenges and international series events. So for her to win gold at last year's Southeast Asian Games here in Manila was nothing short of sensational. There she is, 21 years of age, 162, that's five foot four. She's the youngest of four children. First came to my notice when she won a bronze medal at the Asian Youth Games in 2013, which was staged in Nanjing. Last year, she won three titles in Greece, in Sydney, and of course here in Manila at those Southeast Asian Games. Now, uh, she was selected for uh, both of the uh, previous matches in Malaysia's campaign. On Wednesday, she beat Aya Okhori, another left-hander, in two straight games. And look at the scoreline there. And just 35 minutes for that. And then was selected yesterday against Chinese Taipei. It was due to be the fifth match. And therefore, with the tie already decided, her match was not contested. So to the left-hander, Sayaka Takahashi's 27 years of age now. And uh, she is one place down from her career high of 10. A total of four weeks across three different spells as world number 10, but currently number 11. Twice a semi-finalist at Asian Championships. And as you can see, won both of her matches in the campaign so far. On Thursday against Go Jin Wei, the two-time former world junior champion, 35 minutes for that. And then in the quarterfinal yesterday against Indonesia, beat Rusali Hartawan, 21-13, 21-14, a little bit longer for yesterday's quarterfinal match, 39 minutes. Our court officials from the Philippines, both of them from the Philippines, for this women's singles, second women's singles match. Thank you. Well, I saw Silva Dure a number of years ago. And quite obviously, I've been following her results and she has improved considerably since I last saw her. So I'm very excited to see her improvements and the Malaysian against such a highly ranked player as Takahashi. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Malaysia, represented by Kisona Salvador. And on my left, Japan, represented by Ayaga Takahashi. Malaysia to serve, love all, 
play. So, Kisona Salvadu right, far side of the court for Malaysia. Against the left handed Sayaka Takahashi. Oh, that's a super drop shot from Takahashi. One so it's always fascinating when you've got two players playing against each other in a team competition like this that have never met before but have both won all of their matches so far in the campaign. One of them is going to lose that record, being undefeated. That's delightful. Moving the Malaysian to the back, in the backhand net, then forehand net. That's what you call out manoeuvring an opponent. Super. Pressure on Kisona. If she loses this match, it's the end of Malaysia's journey in this competition. Oh, that was a very accurate smash. all the pressure I suppose on this lady in that she's expected to deliver this winning point for Japan in this semi-final her opponent currently 105 in the world ranking so she has been as high as 54 but there's a huge difference because of her ranking at the moment is restricting this lady from even entering the top tier of tournaments in World Badminton. Super angle. Well played. Shall we solve her? Five or. Thank you. 
sober, six, five. get out of trouble from so deep in your forehand corner. Six. She took it very late, but played the perfect cross court. Drop shot. Look, she's taking it about shoulder height. It's that. That's a remarkable cross court drop. So we saw her seven, six. in this arena shuttle flying a little bit faster coming towards Takahashi's end of the court so as we're looking down right now the shuttle's flying faster coming towards us with so many options Nine, six. took the shuttle early could have pushed it. That's a nice play from the left hand. little thin clenched fist so at the end of the rally there from ten, Takahashi. Seven. Good to see Yamaguchi already done her warm down, already had a shout back out supporting teammates. Good aggressive play, and it means that Sayaka Takahashi has a three-point advantage here in the mid-game interval of the opening game. Thank you. 
把小打进来小一点，让他一直不舒服下，他整个速度才会放慢下来。Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Well, that was talking about moving your base further forward because of the angle shots. Ready? Angle shots from Kisana. There's only three points in it here in the opening game. So well, Sonoka Takahashi has the advantage. And there are signs to me that Kusona Silvadure is very much in these rallies. Again, Brunelosian getting herself 11. out of trouble in the deep forehand corner by playing a wonderful cross court drop shot. Here it comes. That's magnificent, isn't it? And I think that final mistake from Takahashi is a sign of frustration. A sign that perhaps I was right earlier when I said she, she's got pressure because everybody's expecting her to win given the difference in the world rankings between these two. Kisona is back level. Exchange. Oh, yes, good angle. Thirteen, eleven. Just long. Service over. 12, 13. Fourteen, twelve. 
Oof, that's well taken, my goodness. She had to be careful with that final 15, kill. Takahashi. 12. That's well taken. Three straight points, and it's put a different complexion now in this opening game in favour of Takahashi. Left-handed Takahashi. And the silver Dure very nearly got that back. Shot. So we saw her 13. Well, there's the net early. Rocket arm outstretched and a perfect tumbling net shot. Watch how the shuttle turns upside down as it goes over the net, spinning ferociously. That's why Takahashi couldn't control the reply. Oh, this rally so far as well. What a super drop shot. So it's over. 19, 13. through with the racket uh, with the uh, winner comes game points opportunities look at that just really controlling a tiny little movement of the racket head there to control that drop shot and seven game point opportunities only game. needed the one 21-13, the opening game 14, to Sayaka one Takahashi. And Japan one 13. game away from the final tomorrow. Thank you. 
Sayaka Takahashi having taken that open game 21-13 in 20 minutes. The fact that it took 20 minutes is a clear indication of how good some of the rallies were against the gold medalists from the Southeast Asian Games last December. Kisona Salvadurai. So what can the Malaysian do now? Does she have some answers for the questions that have been posed by the left-hander? It's going wide. So we saw her one. Well, she's challenging this. The serve was called in. First challenge of this second women's singles. Yeah, it was a good call line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Oh, my goodness. I think she's all right. Yeah, that was a nasty slip as she lunged forward. Takahashi. So we saw her. One, left leg, her lunge two. leg. Just slipped from underneath her. Just kept going. Watch this. Ooh, ooh, my goodness. That could have been nasty on the knee. That's amazing that she got up so quickly. And that towards the end of the longest rally so far. And it's me, she's already got her right knee heavily supported. Oh, that's just delightful play. Outmaneuvering her opponent. Silver do right. Well, since I last saw her play, she has improved considerably. 
the 21 year old Malaysian. What a delight to see so many up and coming youngsters from Malaysia. Lizzy Jar in the men's singles. He's only 21. Lee? She hardly had to move Takahashi to play that winner. Play. I love those racket skills Service from the over. front of the court from Four, the Malaysian. Two. Easy, relaxed hitting style. This one here, watch that. Look at that. How can you tell that's going to be a push deep into her opponent's backhand corner? Lovely looking shot. Perfection. And again, it's a similar sort of shot, isn't it? Service over. That forehand from Five. the net position, Eight. hold and flick. Certainly something to think about right now. Ah! Oh, just a couple of times. Silver so so do right. Four. He's seven. not given enough points on the pushes. Either it's got to be so deceptive that your opponent can't reach it, or that was a cross court clear that was just far too low. a good record in finals does Sayaka Takahashi 20 career finals of which she's won 16 of them so only lost four of the 20 finals she's been in oh changed her mind there but so I have to so say Silva Dura's uh, record in finals five. is even better because the young Malaysian 
has been in six finals and she's never lost a final that she's contested. All six finals, she's won the title. needs a bit more strength in her legs till the do right. And that last one just couldn't push off. But that'll come. She's only 21 years of age after all. Talent, Nine, in my opinion. Six. that her world ranking goes up sufficiently over the next 6-12 months that she gets the opportunity to play against the top players in the world on a more regular basis. Oh, well taken. So we saw her 7-9. That's terrific follow-up. That's brilliant. Good net play from so both players, but the cross court ten, net shot from eight. Silva Dure. That one, look at that. Set up the whole rally. And then there's that delightful little push from the forehand net position deep into her opponent's corner. This one. Well, we've seen that at least three times, that delightful little shot from the Malaysian. Now she's shaking out her left leg, Takahashi. Now that's when she slipped. I thought she might have hurt her knee there. And in fact, she's asking the umpire to call the tournament doctor. I do hope this isn't going to stop her finishing the match. Maybe a bit of cold spray, maybe a bandage. <laughs> Amazing coaches take the opportunity to give some advice to their player. Yeah. Hamstring and behind the knee. Oh, hip as well. Yeah, this was the incident. Oh, no, that was another incident. Oh, I can see that. 
Yeah, that was indeed that last rally. I hadn't realized, but she did hyperextend her knee. And that will have aggravated any problems caused a little earlier. Oh dear. Ten, eight. Yeah, that's a huge concern to Japan, and especially to Sayaka Takahashi. So it is Malaysia and Silva Dure who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. It's a three-point advantage. Well, she, in all honesty, in my opinion, deserves the lead. Kasuna and Silva Dure. A question oh. loses a bit of confidence with her movement. a very close eye on the movement of Sayaka Takahashi because that's twice she's hyperextended her left knee during this match. Oh wow, that's signalled intent. So it's over. Nine, eleven. Just inside the line here. Look at that. That is perfection. And three points since the big game. Eleven, and four. three points to the left handed Sayaka Takahashi. since the mid-game interval. 12, 11. There's this lady. More of a sense of urgency about her style of play. straight points since the mid-game 15, 11. 8, 11 down to 15, 11 up. No. 
Well, I think she's answered the questions about the possible injury problems. 16, 11. on the net shot Takahashi made it virtually impossible 11. for Silva Dure to actually control the return look how the shuttle just trickled over the net there yeah how do you control the return on that virtually impossible so nine straight points this lady, Takahashi. Oh, that's a good clear. It's landed in. So it's over. 12, 17. Oh my goodness, didn't she need to stop that run? Nine straight points for Takahashi. Well, Malaysia desperately needs a little run herself. Oh, but that's, she's just completely up to pace as Sayaka Takahashi. So it's over 18, 12. Pace of shot, pace of movement, more importantly, perhaps. She's done herself proud today as Kisona. She'll have learned an awful lot from this experience. But it's now match point opportunities, not just for Sayaka Takahashi, but for Japan in this semi final tie. She converts Sayaka Takahashi uh, beats uh, Kisona Silvadure in two straight games 21 13. 21 So, since the mid game interval when Takahashi was 8 11 down, she's promptly won 13 of the next 15 points to close out the match. Closes out the match and closes out the semi final tie. Their confirmation in 44 minutes of the victory for Takahashi, and that means that it is 
uh, three matches uh, to love uh, for the defending champions, Japan. And in fact, Japan are through to a third consecutive final at the Badminton Asia Women's Team.